the red sole it just looked a little bit childish i don't like it <laughs> My channel i hope you're all doing well um i was about to say long time no see but i think i've been quite consistent so welcome back so today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and i'm unboxing the calvin klein jeans trainers and they're called maya in um all white um so this is what the box comes like i did get mine from asos um just because asos was doing what they were doing 20 percent off child so these are originally 130 pounds and they went down to 104 pounds um from asos but i also know you can get them from the calvin klein website if they're not already sold out and if you sign up to their newsletter you get 10 percent off so spend money with cents always um so yeah this is what the box looks like and as you can see i got a size eight don't know if that's focusing i hope it has um i was gonna size down because in most trainers i have to size down so i get a seven or something or 7.5 but um reading reviews everyone was like it's a bit narrow towards the foot so so i just i just got my size basically and hoped for the best um i hope you guys can see this so literally um so yeah it's just literally a box and some tissue paper i've already opened these and tried it on so i don't know if it's really unboxing but at least you get to see it um so yeah it just comes these are the trainers they're quite chunky i really used to be against chunky trainers but i don't know i just found myself looking for i don't know chunky trainers i don't know why i think i was like putting i'm um, putting together um like my outfits to go on holiday and like for my birthday and i realized like to go to the airport and stuff like i've got air forces like i've got i'm not a sneakhead i say that from day dot i don't really wear trainers like that so if i pick up a pair of trainers it's because i really like it um so i think altogether i only have like really four pairs of trainers i'm more like a heels girl a boots girl so i saw these because i really wanted to get the chanel um the chanel runners i saw someone say that the mayas resembled well the other one that swayed um swayed around here i'll put a picture of it here um but those ones looked a bit like the chanel's and i saw these and i thought they look a bit like the balenciaga um triple s trainers i'll put a picture of that here also but yeah i just thought you know what if you're subscribed you see my videos all the time and you hear me say i didn't buy into the trend and what about the classics but when i do buy into a trend i really have to like it and i think i really do like these like they're all white um i know they'll get dirty i know the sole is already going to be a problem but i didn't see any other ones i liked i like the white and the um it's almost a pink beige suede um i'll put a picture of it up but I didn't like the red sole. It just looked a little bit childish. I don't like it. So I like this all white. Um, I could do without the Calvin Klein jeans on the side, but I'll manage. So all of this here um, is leather mixed with mesh. Um, I don't really know what else to say. It's a very chunky sole. So you can see how big that is. But I do like them. So again, I got my size because I heard that they do come up quite narrow around here. Um, yeah so these are a uh, 10.5 in us sizing 41 in eu sizing and obviously size 8 in the uk um yeah you do have quite a lift in there if you can see the insole but yeah i really love this and because i got a discount i don't feel it as much because 104 pounds on trainers is like it's standard isn't it even less for most popular trainers i saw this on with like an errand outfit or like just popping somewhere quickly or my airport outfit like Black on black on black on black on black, white trainers. <laughs> that is literally me 100% of the time. And when I did try them on, they're very comfortable. Um, yeah, so obviously I'll just see in terms of wear and tear when it comes to dirt and obviously this leather, because there's leather all around these sides. I'll just do a 360 for you. yeah so in terms of cleaning and leather i don't know how that's going to go but so far i'm not too fast and i just wanted to do something different because like um i don't know what the correct term for this is but like my air forces of like they're kind of flat 
the Axel Arigatos that got, I love them. They're kind of flat as well. Like all the other trainers I have kind of look the same because I like the same thing because I don't really like trainers like that or I don't really wear trainers like that. So when I saw this and I was like, oh, this is a different kind of chunky kind of vibe that I actually like and it's quite clean. I think it would fit in um, quite nicely with my style and my wardrobe or everything else in my wardrobe anyway. So um, yeah. So I'm just gonna um, try this on and show you some mud shots with some outfits I've tried on with it. Um, hopefully you guys like it. And if you've got any questions, leave them below. But yeah, I just wanted to show you these. Um, and literally that's all that comes in the box. I wouldn't really say it's a luxury brand because that is literally all that came in the box. <laughs> some might disagree that it is. Um, but yeah, these just feel like bog standard trainers that I would enjoy at least for some time before they go out of fashion. Um, but yeah. So let me know what you guys think, if you like them, if you've got something similar, um, if you'd recommend or you're gonna pick them up. So I hope you guys enjoy the unboxing. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and tell a friend to do what? Comment and subscribe as well, guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your comments and thoughts down below. And if there are other type of videos that you guys are after, let me know and I'll be happy to put it out. But I hope you guys have a lovely week and thanks again for watching. Bye guys.